Hey, what's up, Lightful Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the brand new 2022 Amazon Prime original show, season three, The Boys. This, uh, I, 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 I didn't like season one, didn't like season two, don't like season three. I, I never read the comics. I can't compare it to the actual books, but I have a feeling a lot is not counterparted to the comics. Like, this season was just a soap opera, and, and it just had so much uh, parallel to all of the chaos that's gone on uh, within politics within the last four years. And it's it's unfortunate because you watch these kinds of projects and it's, they're like escapes, right? So like if it's based off of a book series and the book series has X, Y, and Z, you expect X, Y, and Z into the you know into the show not added letters a b and c have no relevance of being in there why is there a guy in a crowd dressed up as one of the insurrectionists um you know that we had january 6th of of 21 like what's the point just to just to, to spark more parallels there was a shot for shot scene of the kylie jenner pepsi commercial of him give uh, of her giving a a, a a riot officer a can of pepsi to calm everyone down a train had the shot for shot scene of this in the show like just so many other political things in real world were literally translated verbatim to the screen for no reason there there was there was a whole thing of of uh over policing in black neighborhoods that a train you know killed blue falcon because of it but then like they had to do a twist on it like that's not justice that's just Insta gratification, not seeing a mugshot on a TV screen. Like there were so many things that that didn't have to be a part of this because it's just reflecting the current climate. And it's it's unfortunate because I don't think that that's what these books were about. I genuinely don't think that that's how these books were portrayed um, with the shot for shot real life to fictitious world. Like you watch the Purge films and you like expect it because it's it's scary because it happens in the real world, right? But that's a horror film. This is a superhero show, which is a horror show. The, the fight scenes were great. The blood and guts was great, right? Really neat, interesting ways of killing people, but like celebrated in a sense. And it's, it's, it's not The Purge. There's the political aspect of The Purge, which makes sense in the representation of the political climate but then there's the boys which is for some reason amplifying it which doesn't make sense especially within the plot points because the whole plot of the series is how do you kill homelander middle of the season you got a perfect opportunity to kill homelander jensen ankle uh jensen uh what's the hell what the hell's his last name Engels ecker eckler i can't say his last name he uh he plays his character soldier boy who turns out to be the biological father of homelander and then his grandson ryan is you know being shuffed around from place to place because Butcher's wife um, bore Homelander's son, Ryan, and then Butcher made a promise to Becca to take care of Ryan, and then Butcher needed his CIA connections to help hide Ryan from Homelander, who eventually got, you know, to him at some point. Then there was the whole ending scene of, of literally vaporizing a guy's head in the middle of a crowd, and then they all cheered. It's just chaos that shouldn't be celebrated. And I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing the celebration of this chaos that we live on a day-to-day -day life. Um, kids aren't safe in school. There's just, you know, gun violence is rampaging. It's, 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 rights are being taken away left and right. The Supreme Court is not supreme. Uh, one of my favorite tweets is, is in regards to the Supreme Court is, I've had Crunchwrap's more supreme than this. And it's, it's tired. It's tired. You, you watch these projects, you watch film, you watch TV to escape. Not to relive moments that are already pissing you off. And I think that's what's what's relevant to talk about is I think that all of this political climate aspect was brought into this show. I don't think it had anything to do with the comics. I, I, I need someone to tell me who wrote, who, who read the actual books, what the comparison is um, within the temporary V subplot and the compound V, the permanent V subplot of, of Butcher and, and Huey taking the temporary V to fight Homelander to do all these things. I'm sure that part was a part of it, but like, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm aggravated with this show. I, I haven't liked this show since season one. I watched the show because I'm three seasons in at this point. I might as well watch it until we're done, but some parts 
are entertaining. That's why I actually watch this. The actors do an incredible job, incredible acting. The special effects, the 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 kill shots, the uh, certain fight scenes are beautifully choreographed. I, I I'm very impressed with a lot of the show, but the story is awful, and I hate it, and I can't stress that enough. The other thing, you bring Noir's character in for half a second throughout this entire series, um, let alone the season itself, give him the backstory of working with Soldier Boy back in the 80s, that he's the original member left of the team that is still, you know, fighting within Vault Tower. But, like, oh, he just, he has these visions of all these cartoon characters surround him now. Why was that not brought into the past? I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm going to say exactly what I said within one of the last reviews we did. Pretend I'm Dacre Mont Montgomery. I'm in season three of Stranger Things, a glorious, perfect show on Netflix. I'm screaming, looking up at the Mind Flayer, screaming, I don't understand. That's how I feel a lot of watching this eight episode season of The Boys. I don't understand. I don't understand. This became a soap opera and I don't think it was supposed to be. I don't think it was supposed to be. I, I can't compare to the comics, but I genuinely feel that these added elements of of realism is is irrelevant to the escapism. Ooh, I liked it. I liked it. I like it. I like it. It's good. It's a good statement. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep up with that. Mm. Yes. On to the next review. Which mahalo.